he's asleep um, just right off the bat guys this is not gonna be like a car video or anything um, just I guess you can say like a life update I'm not looking for anything in return guys I'm just I feel like basically like the videos have been lacking I think I've been posting maybe one every 10 to 14 days the last three videos have been very fun they've all been car reviews um, they've all been Honda related <laughs> posting very very little um only because i'm sure you guys if you guys follow me on instagram you guys have noticed that my dog passed away well not passed away well yeah but i had to put him down uh, gotham if you guys remember gotham he's been an og he's been around for five years and yeah only five years we ended up having to put him down due to um cancer he had cancer in the intestines and I want to say in his kidney, I, I, I can't remember. To make a long story short, uh, in last November we noticed that he was throwing up and he wouldn't keep his food down. So we thought it was just regurgitation, like we thought he just couldn't, like I think maybe he was just like a bug or something. It all spired down to basically having to do blood work, having to do an ultrasound, just led to us knowing that he had cancer. And then two weeks later, we we had to put him down because he just wasn't doing good. It's been very different not having him around. If you guys remember from back in the day, if you guys have been around that long. Dude, we picked him up and as soon as that dude had his first shot, he was with us. He made a couple appearances on the channel here now. So if you guys remember him, you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we had to put him down and my wife just went into a pretty deep depression again and all my time i've i've been home the last two weeks we had with him was very challenging especially the last day but moving forward like i mentioned you get you guys noticed that I've, my videos have been very low and that's just because every time i have free time i'm just making sure she's okay i'm always home i've been distracting myself with the new Legend of Zelda game, so it's my mind has, has been not there for YouTube, you know? Work is still giving me my two days off, so it's not like I'm more overworked, you know? If I'm overworking, it's because I'm doing overtime, and that's totally fine, I'm down for that. Because of this happened, and I've been losing motivation to do more videos, or maybe I just lost motivation on my car, I, I don't know. I've been thinking, and I've just been thinking of probably getting rid of the 10th gen, only because I know right now the market's good and I know if I sell it, it would I would get a good profit back. Um, if I do do that, I would definitely get back in an eighth. Like, I really feel like I'd be able to go like full send on one of those cars, you know. Mainly because like my goal in like two years, even as sooner if I can, I really want to get the F05. And I feel like if I, if I do this and... I get my eighth and then pretty much save money that way and necessarily just clean it up make sure it's up to my standards like you guys know how I like my cars I just like simple and clean and then in like two years pick up an F05 see if I can find a used one or I don't know hopefully the market adjusts is a little bit better you know right now it's just not a good time to even pull the trigger on one considering you're gonna get like eight percent I'm sure you guys remember the video I did before it was horrible <laughs> like payments on that was, was trash but it, it's just a thought, you know, on my car. I, I still love it. I, I, I like it, you know. I haven't had any issues on it. I've only been running on map one on my car, which is like 18 PSI. Since I've only been commuting on the car, you know, there's no need for me to push 26 when I'm trying to go up the grade or like trying to catch up with traffic. Considering I just drive all highway on that car, whenever I go out, I'm in my wife's car now that she has the RDX. So like, I don't know. Um, I feel like, Car reviews have been like the best aspect of the channel. Um, these random, check out what happened with this Honda informative or reaction video are pretty good. I don't know, just um, I feel like building aspect of the car, it's at a stalemate and like I can do a few more things to it. Like I, I can go bigger turbo, but I'm also risking the long, the reliability of the car in march right before we found out about gotham's condition i was gonna go big turbo and arp head studs but all of that money went towards his bills 
towards the ultrasound, towards his medication, to putting him down. And it sucks because we basically paid just to get information to find out that he's got two weeks. If that. That really hit hard. So that's I think that's kind of why I've just been like off the grid a bit. I haven't really been posting on Instagram as much as I should. What do you guys think? Like, I, I've really, really, really been considering. And also, like... I don't want to do it because I really just don't want to park the car out like it's just like I, I've put so much work into it that like n it's not the fact that I'd be losing money that way it's that's part of the game it's more of a like damn I gotta source parts dude like I don't have my stock exhaust anymore so I would have to figure out how to do that I don't have my stock springs anymore I would have to figure out how to put the car back from that you know what I mean it's just been a thought really only two colors I want it's like that sunburst orange so clean and beautiful or just a white one like I really really think like those are like my favorite colors for the FA5 and if I'm lucky enough I would love to get a Mugen because the Mugen's just awesome I just love how it looks overall you know um, it's not something that I already have set in stone I just wanted to let you guys know what's been on my mind lately and i'm gonna tell you right now i don't regret selling my eighth i really don't regret selling my eighth gen especially specifically that one that one had a lot of problems like off camera i didn't, I didn't tell you guys a lot of things that was wrong with the car but like i'd like to see what your guys' input is i know i've been able to bring in a lot more traffic through the channel from the 10th gen i know a lot i know i lost a lot of viewers because i don't have the eighth gen anymore so what do you guys think and no I'm not really looking into the ninth gen. No, I, I like. I love the ninth gen. I love how it is, but the eighth is just it's where I started, you know. So I feel like an eighth gen would be really cool. But enough about that. And if he wakes up, I'd, I'd love to show you somebody new to the channel. I know the, the video's been all over the place. I do apologize on that. We realized we wanted to get another dog, not as soon as he passed away, but. We pretty much just knew. It's just one of those things, you know, like, I'm not going to say I'm a dog family, but it's having a dog does change the atmosphere in the house. And to all pet owners, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, it's, it's very difficult. And to me, after losing him, and he was only five, by the way. He was only five years old. Um, after losing him such, at such a young age, I, I felt really bad and I, I wanted to adopt Everywhere we looked, like on the animal shelters, at least the local ones, somebody else beat us to it. So we were like, you know what? Maybe it's just not meant to be. And then all of a sudden, my wife gets a message on Instagram saying, hey, I know somebody selling pugs and they're local. You should check them out. So we go check them out and we meet them. A little black pug and cutest. So we went to go check them out and he just went straight to Myra, my wife. He went straight to her and I was like, oh, like, you know, she started getting a little emotional, blah, blah, blah. We're like, okay, like, let's, let's, let's sit about this. Cause I talked, I talked to my wife, like, Hey, let's go. Like, I don't want to leave with four pugs. <laughs> like, let's just go and like, think about it. Do we really want to start all over? Do we really want to have another puppy in the house so early? And she goes, yeah, you're right. So we're talking, we're driving and I tell her, Hey, by any chance, do you know when he was born, the puppy? And she goes, hold on, let me ask. Looking through her phone. March 21st, that's my birthday. And that's also the same day we found out that Gotham had cancer. I don't know if it's like a coincidence or anything. I'm not gonna say I don't believe in miracles. I'm not gonna say, um, like this happens for reasons, you know, that we can't explain, but what are the chances that when we find out Gotham has weeks to live, this dude is born. So of course we got emotional and then we're like, you know what, like we need to bring him home. So we go back and pay for him and we paid for him. Like dogs aren't cheap. He's literally sleeping right there. He just looked up right now. Dude, what are the chances? What are the chances? And it's, it, it, it amazes me even more because he does a lot of things that Gotham did, you know, like personally, you know, he's so calm. He's so chill. Like he's sleeping 
he doesn't cry that much. I mean, right now the hardest thing is just potty training him, but it's like, dude, like, this is insane. It's it's crazy. I don't want to wake him up. Well, well he's already awake, but like. <laughs> and his name is Arkham. Like Arkham City. My last one was Gotham. Like Gotham City. So. He's very chill. Dude just wants to sleep all day. I don't know. Obviously, now that we have a new pup in the house, like, like, like I said, it, it was it was very unexpected. We, we, we went in just wanting to look. And we ended up getting him. And you know what? Life's been good after that. And mainly wanted to do this video. That way you guys, like I said, you guys see like, oh, where's this dude at? Why isn't he posting, you know? Like, trust me, I, I really want to, but... A lot of a lot of stuff has been making me think differently you know and appreciate differently and going for stuff that I really want um, so he was kind of like an impulse buy and I feel like if we didn't get him this this wasn't gonna happen anyways sorry for the long ish video I know this like I said I know this wasn't really like a car related thing but it kind of was I don't know let me know what you guys think like I said nothing set in stone for all we know, anything could happen. You know, the unexpected always happens. So, we'll see. And I just wanna say thank you to everybody that's been watching my videos and that's been supporting me from day one and all the new ones that have been supporting me. Um, thank you. To say exactly what's gonna happen, again, I don't know. Anyways guys, I do have a couple of other videos lined up that I just need to go out and film. Um, I already have the ideas. I already know what I'm going to do. Now I just need to find the time because obviously I can't just leave him alone. He's only 10 weeks. So you're like, whatever, huh? Did you just want me to pick you up? Mm hmm. Yep. That's a pug. They're tiny. <laughs> Again, thank you for everybody that watches and I'll see you guys in another one. You guys have a good one. Peace.